Hello, my name is Alia. I am ten and a half years old, and I, I am in a French international school. And I play gymnastics, and I've got a medal in a national competition. My team name is SG7. I am from Cairo, but I live in Hurghada. I am new to studying robotics. I started three months ago. C language is the is the a first AI language I have I have learned. I have participated in a local competition, and I it's the first competition international competition I have participated in. I would like to say thank you to my teachers and coaches and co-space team because they give me a chance to enter this online international online competition. Participating in the co-space rescue under 12. The map was quite difficult to solve. I met met more than one problem. The first one was the, that the robot couldn't easily collect black black objects in position X2, Y0. So it couldn't collect all the three colors together and then couldn't get easily the super objects. I tried to make my strategy so the robot can collect three sets of red, cyan, black objects in the same time. This trial didn't work. The second problem I have met is that when the robot enters the area in position X2, Y0, it stuck there, loses time, and doesn't get to deposit. I made my strategy so when the robot is in position X2, Y0, with loaded object more than 3, it will turn to 0 degree and go up to, toward deposit, toward deposit. The strategy worked well with me. My robot uh, moves up from the position position X2Y0 and goes to the post. Challenge task analysis. Avoiding trap. When the robot detects yellow with color centers, the robot uses its wheels and turns away in case it has loaded objects bigger than zero. However, it goes into the trap when loaded objects are zero. This is to save time. In this challenge, we use color centers and wheels or another solution. We can use position X and Y and compass. The mission is completed. Here is a video of my robot avoiding the trap. AI algorithm that uh, it's go to deposit. I used it here. For this, I use the color sensors, purple marker, compass, position X and Y. It worked and the robot went to the deposit area. Here is a video of my robot going to deposit by the purple marker. When the robot detects objects using its color sensors, it collects objects as long as loaded objects are less than 6. When the robot detects the trap with color sensors, it uses its wheels to go back away from the trap as long as loaded objects are bigger than 0. When the robot detects 
deposit area, it goes to deposit the objects when loaded object uh, to deposit the object when loaded objects are bigger than three. For this, I use both purple and green markers. When the robot detects wall or obstacles with ultrasonic sensors, it uses wheels to go back and avoid them. When there is no obstacles or traps, the robots just move with both wheels with the speed I determine in the, in the action. Here is a flowchart I made for my robot to move with. There, this is the order in which I put the statements of my strategy. The robot performed well, but not all the time, as I have planned and coded. Super objects were not created many times, so it doesn't increase the score. I tried to make the robot collect three sets of colors in the same load, but no success. I tried to make a statement so the robot can collect the three colors all together. I used the color sensors for the three colors and I put a condition when loaded objects are sm smaller than two. So the robot can collect two objects of each color. This, this is didn't, didn't work at all. I think I made a good strategy. I tried to make a high score. I tried to save time and solve the difficult points in the map. I used my methods to solve the task, but there are other different methods. I made, I made the robot go to deposit using color markers, but it can be done by using the positions X and Y and compass. If I were asked to solve the same challenge again, I would try to make it better by adding more statements, like wall tracking or using compass, to make the robot collect the super object when created. Ra with co-space robot, I have learned solving problems, finding solutions, and to be patient and respecting deadli deadlines. Through the virtual RCAP co-space challenge, I have learned how to make videos use po using PowerPoint to make a presentation, download maps, update program, and upload files. Finally, I would like to have advise my co-space fellow, fellow participants to have patience and go on learning robotics and AI language, languages as it helps us solve problems and make up our minds. Thank you.